Hydraulic Master Cylinder System. The theory of hydraulics is this. Force that is applied at one point is transmitted to another point using an incompressible fluid. In other words, hydraulics is used to increase force and torque. In the case of brakes, this increased force is used to apply friction to the rotors and drums to slow the vehicle. Here's how hydraulics work in the car's braking system. When the pedal is pressed, leverage multiplies the force applied from the pedal to a vacuum booster. The booster multiplies the force again and actuates two pistons inside the master cylinder. As the pistons are pushed forward, piston seals operate against a smooth bore to generate hydraulic pressure. This rise in hydraulic pressure is transferred through steel lines and brake hoses to the four wheels. We said inside the master cylinder there are two pistons. Simply put, the primary piston serves the front two wheels and the secondary piston works the back two wheels. The master cylinder was designed this way for safety reasons. If one of the piston seals develops a leak and fails to generate enough pressure, the other piston supplying hydraulic pressure to its two wheels will be able to stop the car, provided there's no leak there too. It's this pressure that activates the wheel cylinders and or disc brake calipers at each of the four wheels to initiate the braking process. The neat thing about hydraulic systems is that the steel piping and brake hose that connects the master cylinder to either the wheel cylinders or calipers can be of any length and shape since the same amount of force generated at the origin arrives at the destination. Hydraulic Master Cylinder Service as we were talking about hydraulics, incompressible fluid is the agent that transfers power generated from the master cylinder to the four wheels. Brake fluid is usually a glycol-based formulation, which is a similar base formulation to antifreeze. The fluid is also used to lubricate components and needs to withstand cold temperatures so it won't thicken and hot temperatures so it won't boil. If temperatures do rise enough to bring the brake fluid to a boil, it results in a spongy pedal. Be sure to use the correct type brake fluid for the vehicle you're working on. This information can often be found on the master cylinder cap or the owner's manual. Moisture is a major concern in brake fluid. It leads to rust and corrosion in metal parts Keep in mind that moisture in the brake fluid not only affects the master cylinder, but also wheel cylinders, disc brake calipers, and the anti-lock braking system. Those areas can rust as well. Also, the more moisture there is in the brake fluid, the lower its boiling point becomes. Brake fluid absorbs water over time, which can lead to a spongy pedal, so always keep brake fluid bottles covered. When starting any brake job, our first step is to siphon out as much fluid as possible out of the master cylinder. Careful when handling brake fluid, as it can remove paint. Remember, with any brake job, we're trying to restore the car to like-new performance, so it's best to siphon out the brake fluid and replace it with fresh, clean fluid. Never put anything in the master cylinder except approved brake fluid. Remember, not all brake fluid is made for all cars, so be sure to use the correct brake fluid for the specific car you're servicing. Non-approved fluid can quickly destroy rubber seals, causing brake failure. A defective master cylinder can certainly affect the car's braking performance. One symptom of a failing master cylinder is if a motorist has their foot on the brake, such as at a red light, and the pedal slowly falls to the floor. That could mean the piston seals inside the master cylinder are failing and are not holding hydraulic pressure. OE master cylinders can be made from both aluminum and iron castings. Be sure the replacement master cylinder matches the vehicle's OE master cylinder for optimal performance. Choose a premium master cylinder manufactured by a reputable supplier, such as Raybestos, whose parts meet all SAE, Society of Automotive Engineers, test standards. The fluid level in the master cylinder can also reveal secrets of the brake system. 
The fluid level will drop slightly as the pads wear. This is normal and no cause for concern. However, if the fluid level drops significantly or goes down about two-thirds full, it could signify a larger problem within the brake system, which is why it's always best to complete a thorough brake inspection when servicing brakes.